Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. The economy takes a turn for the worse. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Economic data in this week paints a bleak picture of the U.S. economy. Housing prices continue to fall, unemployment not getting any better, and consumer confidence in the tank. All bad news for the Obama administration. No president since FDR has been reelected with economic data that bad. And then there's the $14 trillion plus debt. The mistake President Obama is making is that he believes the federal government can control economic growth. It can't. Only the private sector can. The president and Mr. Bush before him were correct in supplying taxpayer money to keep the banking system from collapsing. And Mr. Obama was also right in lending some American corporations cash to recover. As we reported last week, most of the TARP funds have now been paid back. But the president's overall economic philosophy is hurting the nation. He's spending far too much money on social justice and has not a clue, not a clue, on how to reform things like Medicare. And as you may know, Mr. Obama has not put forth any economic plan other than this. I say that at a time when the tax burden on the wealthy is at its lowest level in half a century, the most fortunate among us can afford to pay a little more. So let's step back for a moment. Mr. Obama wants to raise taxes on the affluent, including small business owners, who hire people. Does that make sense to you? If you want more jobs, you must give business incentives to hire, not take more money away from the entrepreneurial class. This week, Greece got whacked again. The country's bankrupt. Spain in big trouble. In Italy, right behind them. All of those economies essentially run by the governments. So is the economy of Cuba. How's that working out? Talking Points believes that Mr. Obama's passion for spending is damaging the American economy. And that will be the centerpiece of the 212 presidential campaign. By the way, people who can't get jobs are hurt in many ways, not just economically. There's a ripple effect. Kids see their fathers and mothers distraught. Families are broken up. It's awful. The leadership in Washington must understand, must, that reform and incentives for the free market are desperately needed. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, not only has the economic situation put the left in a tight spot, but they are also on the hook for Anthony Weiner as he is one of the most outspoken liberal congressmen in the nation. But political reports today, not many of Weiner's cohorts are sticking up for him in the Twittergate affair. Joining us now from Washington to analyze all this, Laura Ingram. So here's my first question. Even though the economy is shaky, and we just pointed it out, President Obama is still competing very well against his Republican opposition in the polls. Why do you think that's happening? Well, Bill, first of all, let's look back on the type of candidates the Republican Party has nominated, okay, in the last, you know, several elections. It's been Bush, you know, Bush 41, then it was Dole, then it was Bush 43 and McCain. No matter what you think of how they govern the country, none of them were particularly good at explaining economics to the people of this country. Not really, right? And so the Republicans have been saying, well, we need someone like Reagan. Well, yeah, we do. We need somebody who can talk beyond criticism of Obama, which is necessary. But you've got to go beyond that to talk about why cutting spending and getting rid of red tape and reforming our energy policy is going to make America more prosperous and grow jobs. You have to actually uh, bring the American people along, maybe re-educate them or educate them for the, in the first place about why this conservative free market approach to economics works. You know, in 1970, Milton Friedman's ideas were just as good, but not popular, as they became in 1980. And that became popular because of Ronald Reagan. Okay, but so here, we need somebody who can do that. We're living in the ADD age. We're living yeah. in the internet age with a concentration span of the average American very short. All right, now to explain macroeconomics is boring. It's absolutely boring. Not really. Not, and, not necessarily. No, not when no, the country's no, future on. is on the line, Bill. Well, you don't to have you, to do a textbook. To you, no. me, and all the people watching tonight, no. that's true. Well, but to the true. masses of people, come on, Laura, you know what I'm Bill, talking about. Well, right. The no. masses of people don't read a newspaper, don't listen to your radio program, don't watch The Factor, who, are, who consume with, with entertainment 24-7. Okay. But wait, there's a bigger picture here. Yeah. Not only do they not understand supply-side economics, like Milton Freeman, but it's easy to frighten them. Right. About well, Medicare okay. and everything but Bill, else. Bill, don't you, you remember, um, maybe you're too young, but in 1980, uh, I was in high school, okay? I remember the demagoguing uh, on what Ronald Reagan was saying we needed to do to government in Washington. Ronald Reagan did not have talk radio. He did not have Fox News. He did not have all these other websites that are trying to get the word out about cutting spending, shrinking government, and as you said, and really well said in the Talking Points memo, incentivizing business, the engine of growth. It doesn't take a, you don't have to, you know, read a micro or 
or macroeconomics textbook to get this. It's about saving America. We are losing this country. In four years, China could be a larger economy than ours. Moody's is, is about to downgrade our debt. This is disastrous for the American people okay. and their way of life. But and we need people who can this. talk about this with We've passion. been saying it on this program. You've been saying it for more than a year, okay? And you, polls still show that President Obama is running neck and neck with Romney and all of the other, um, you know, it goes down in descending order. He beats Palin and he beats uh, Gingrich by more than he beats Romney, but he's competitive in every race. So I'm telling you, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, Republicans have to get their act together, right? Uh, yeah. You're right. Maybe, You're maybe right. they, they have do. To get uh, their maybe it's act the fault of the GOP the that they haven't been able to articulate. But Ryan is a very articulate guy, Congressman Warren. He is. But he's unfortunately, he's not running. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, when he's on TV, a lot of people turn the channel. They don't want to hear it. Okay, no. but they don't turn the channel off Wienergate, Twittergate. Um, but it's 